And our final open mic of the week today comes to us in now. I've got a question for Larry. I hear him talk about how the Kias and Hyundais aren't exactly the best engines, but they keep coming out like number one with Consumer Reports as being the number one SUV, number one this, number one that. Larry, can you tell us what the real deal is? Thanks. Well, I'll tell you what the real real deal is. You know, if, if it's a 21 and newer vehicle, it, you know, it might be the best thing since sliced bread. But I'll tell you what, the poor individual consumers that own anything from a 2009 to about a 2021, um, you know, it, it is really sickening what Kia and Hyundai has done to the, the folks here in the U.S., um, you know, they, 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 they got lousy motors, uh, you know, they consume oil like absolute insane crazy. Um, some of them they'll recall because of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration making them recall. I don't know why they're picking and choosing certain years and certain models because it don't make no sense. They're all junk. Uh, they, they, you can't keep oil in them. Uh, and then they'll tell you, well, okay, you're putting a quart of oil in every three, four hundred mile. Well, that's kind of normal. It falls within our perimeters. Um, we need to continue doing oil testing, oil consumption testing for thousands of miles just to put you off. But, but the reason that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is actually making them recall these motors is because if they throw, the, throw a rod out of the bottom of the engine. They can take out a fuel line. Uh, oil hits the catalytic converter system. The vehicle bursts into flames. Um, F folks, listen, before you buy one of them cars, and I, I, I'm just telling you, do your own research. I mean, pull in Kia, Hyundai, engine problems, whatever, and look at what everybody else has dealt with for the last 10, 11, 12 years, you know? And then if you feel like being that type of person, well, they, I can't get a bad one. I'm probably going to be okay. Then so be it. But at least educate yourself and see what's actually going on out there in the industry. You know, and if, even if you've got a car that has got an engine that they are voluntarily recalling, um, it might be six months to a year before you ever get your car back. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a mess out there. And right now, there is, if they were to fix every car that they've got a problem with here in the United States, it would be 15 million vehicles. And Canada is in the same situation. They've got class action suits all over the place on these car companies, you know. You can rank them number one if you want to. You can give them all the five stars you want. My opinion is somebody's getting paid under the table, if that's what the case is, because their past history does not indicate no five-star best of anything. If you do have a car that's a late model Kia or Hyundai, you know, at least call a dealer up, give them the VIN number, and ask them if you fall into a recall situation to get a free motor. Uh, other than that, you know, you're going to have to probably wait until some of these class action suits are settled. And by all means, if you pay for it out of your pocket, keep the receipts because I guarantee you sooner or later, you're probably going to be compensated for this one way or the other. Hi folks, Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.